Hi everyone, so today I thought I would talk about skincare ingredients and tell you which skincare ingredients you should mix in your routine to get flawless glowing skin. The first combo is retinol and hyaluronic acid. Who doesn't know about retinol and its numerous benefits, right? Retinol is a vitamin A derivative that works to fix skin aging and UV damage. But one downside of retinol is that it is super irritating. Yes, it works, but it causes irritation, peeling, and skin dryness. And there is only one way to prevent that, using an hydrating agent. Now, hyaluronic acid is a humectant means it hydrates skin by attracting moisture both from deeper layers of your skin and the environment. When you mix hyaluronic acid with a strong active like retinol, hyaluronic acid can prevent the side effects normally retinol causes. So, mixing retinol with hyaluronic acid is one of the best ways to fight those fine lines without making your skin dry. To do that, you can use a retinol serum with any hyaluronic acid serum. or you can use a moisturizer of retinol with hyaluronic acid serum or vice versa. But whatever option you choose, don't use this combo more than three times a week because that might not give you extra benefits. The next combo is vitamin C and sunscreen. You might think, well, sunscreen is a sunscreen. How can anything make it better or worse? Well, it seems like antioxidants like vitamin C does enhance the effect of sunscreens. Vitamin C is an antioxidant and antioxidants are better at fighting free radicals caused by UV rays. Now, you might ask me what free radicals are. Let me explain. Every time you go out in the sun, the UV rays create free radicals which are one of the causes of aging skin. I won't go into details cause that involves too much science. Just understand that free radicals are the bad guys and you need something to destroy them if you want to protect your skin. One study found that sunscreens block only 55% of the free radicals produced by UV rays. That's not much, right? So, to optimize UV protection, it is essential that you combine your sunscreen with a topical antioxidant like vitamin C. And there is proof. Under laboratory conditions, it has been shown that the application of 10% topical vitamin C showed a statistical reduction of UVB-induced arrhythmia by 52%, and sunburn cell formation by 40 to 60 percent. So it means when sunscreen and vitamin C are applied together, their benefits multiply. Use a vitamin C serum every day right before applying the SPF and then you are all protected. The next group of ingredients that work as a team is retinol and peptides. Now, as you know, both retinol and peptides are anti-aging ingredients, so when combined, they create magic on your skin. These two powerhouse ingredients work beautifully together in treating the appearance of fine lines and dull skin. Retinol helps to speed up skin cell turnover and increases collagen production. As a result, early signs of aging or any signs of aging vanishes. And peptides, not all of them I know, but some can increase collagen, hyaluronic acid, and various other skin components which can contribute to a healthy skin. In fact, certain peptides are even able to inhibit the breakdown of collagen in our skin, means your skin won't show any signs of aging and will be radiant and youthful. So it means both retinol and peptides work through different mechanism of action, but their end goal is the same, providing you fresh, youthful skin. So if you are suffering from fine lines, aging signs from UV damage or wrinkles from dehydration, using this powerful combination will definitely help you. Sometimes I combine the retinal serum with my peptide moisturizer from the ink list in my routine and I think you can do that too, it's a better combo. But if you want, you can use two serums like one retinal serum and one peptide serum together as well. They work together pretty good so either it's serum or moisturizer it doesn't matter before moving into the next group of ingredients don't forget to like the video if you find this helpful next combo of ingredients is only for those with normal or oily skin sensitive skin you stay away from this yes i'm talking about lactic acid and salicylic acid together this power duo is excellent at 
exfoliation but can be too harsh to damaged or sensitive skin. Lactic acid increases cell turnover, so it's going to be great for brightening, while salicylic acid penetrates within the follicle to decongest pores. This duo may be great for those with breakout prone skin to treat acne through every stage from active breakouts to hyperpigmentation. However, because they are both exfoliants, make sure to maintain hydration daily. No, I'm not talking about drinking a glass of water. You have to use either a hydrating serum or a hydrating moisturizer so that your skin barrier doesn't become irritated. Use this powerful combination one to three per week in your evening routine to see any visible results. The last pair in this group is sodium hyaluronate with manuka honey. You have heard of hyaluronic acid a lot, I know, but let me introduce you to its brother from another mother, sodium hyaluronate. It is smaller than hyaluronic acid in size, which allows it to hydrate deeper layers of skin than hyaluronic acid. Now, sodium hyaluronic acid is excellent on its own, but manuka honey helps it to do its job better. The two work hand in hand like two buddies. Sodium hyaluronate being the humectant hydrates by pulling moisture into the skin and manuka honey being the emollient helps the skin hold on to that moisture. Sodium hyaluronate provides water-based moisture to the skin, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and hydrates the cells. But it needs to be sealed in with a moisturizer or oil to retain moisture. And here comes manuka honey to rescue. A great way to combine manuka honey with sodium hyaluronate is to use a manuka honey based moisturizer like Kiehl's Pure Vitality Skin Renewing Cream with a sodium hyaluronate based serum like the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 Hydrating Serum from The Ordinary. This combination works great for skins that are severely damaged or are dehydrated. And you can use it every day or the other day in your routine. It doesn't cause any irritation because both of them are pretty gentle and very, very hydrating. I hope you learned which ingredients work the best together by now and planning to apply this knowledge in your skincare routine. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my socials. The handles are given right here. My name is Salmin and I'll catch you on my next one. Until then, ciao!